Yeah. All right. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, first of all, for those of you that are watching. Um, we have a major announcement, and uh, we're really excited to um, announce that we are starting a women's program this coming spring. Um, first of all, just some quick introductions. My name is Clint Orderman. I am the Select Basketball Program Director. Andy Harrington, <laughs> I'm the Assistant Program Director. Um, and uh, for the first time in our history, we are going to start a, a women's program. Um, it, it's going to be very, very similar to what we've done with the men over the last 20 years. Um, which means we're starting, and, and our goal, our ultimate goal is that in the next, by 2022, uh, next few years, that we get it to the same scale and size as the men's program. Um, last year, we had 12 teams in the summer, um, 10 teams in the spring, and um, we had an opportunity to work with the best players in the region, and, and, and that's what we're, our goal is. Um, some of the big things to, for, for parents and, and, and the women to know is we will be having uh, players from eighth grade up to seniors this coming spring, um, so class of 2020 to 2024. Um, just like with our men's program, we will be based out of Idaho and Montana, which means we can we use the adjacent state rule that allows us to get players from Washington, Oregon, Utah, Wyoming, uh, and the Dakotas, as well as Idaho and Montana. Nevada. And Nevada, apologize, very good. And um, we're just excited to get things rocking. Um, I think that uh, uh, what makes Select unique is that, uh, one, I feel like we have fantastic coaches that do a terrific job of mentoring and teaching. Um, the adjacent state rule allows for us to compete on a national level. Uh, being able to um, team up and have players from these various states allows for us to compete, not just locally or regionally, but nationally. I think that's one thing that sets us apart. I know that there's a lot of people out there that have Montana pride, Idaho pride, uh, Wyoming pride, but the reality is for us to go out there and, and be able to be competitive and win tournaments in Vegas and win tournaments in LA, um, we need to combine to, to make our, our, our team strong and to give us, give our players the best opportunity to play on that big stage so they can get recruited. Um, uh, Andy, I want you to talk a little bit about the yeah. spring. Andy is our interim women's director. And uh, why don't you talk a little bit about the spring and what we got going on. Um, yeah, go for it. Bye. For sure. Yeah. So in terms of this, in terms of our movement, moving forward, we're going to have a spring program and a summer program. And the two programs are different. Um, in the spring, we're gonna have three three tournaments that we're keying on going and playing in. And we're not sure exactly where those locations are yet. We've been working really hard, talking with college coaches, talking with people that we know to get us to go to the best tournaments that are for us. Um, I know we, we're looking at going to NCAA certified events, uh, as well as the, the most competitive tournaments on the West Coast, mostly. I think one of the big reasons we do that is we carry such a big footprint and kids have got to travel from all over this, this region. Um, we only want to play in the tournaments that are, that are the best evaluated as far as college coaches that have the best teams. Um, we have felt that that is the best bang for every player's buck. Um, nothing wrong with playing in some local tournaments if they would like, you know, on their own, but for us to get these teams and put them together and be, um, be able to showcase really what they're about. They've got to play in the best tournaments in the country, and that's what we're, we're, we're finding, um, and, and we're, that's where we're going to go. Yeah. So for the spring, we'll go to three tournaments. That'll be during the school year. And then we'll, we'll, have, a different, we'll have different rosters for the summer, um, and we'll go to three tournaments for that as well. For the summer, that won't be in June. We'll allow the high schools to have their, their high, school se high school summer seasons in June, and then in July is when we'll start up again with the – select in terms of teams for those the spring team won't be the same as the summer um we have a lot of kids that play spring that end up playing summer but we'll have a tryout we'll have showcases we'll have something that we're working on where we can see those players for the spring and summer teams i think that one of the big things that we do is the reason we set it up so that there is a spring season and a summer season is obviously a lot of and we encourage um, our players our athletes to do multiple sports. Obviously, it's it's if they're focused on basketball and they want to give themselves the best opportunity to get recruited, playing in the spring and summer is beneficial. That, that gives them the most opportunities to play in front of these college coaches and to continue to get better. Um, but we understand that there is conflicts. I think the way that we've set up our 
our teams uh, with men, on the men's side and now with the women's is uh, where they can do both. So if they're doing a spring sport, uh, running track or whatever the case may be, they can still find ways to get to the events. Um, and we get a lot of questions about practice, which we can address later, but the way we have it set up is that it's, it's all about concepts, motion concepts, defensive concepts. Uh, and that's what it has allowed us to play, be really successful on a national level um, without having tons and tons of practice. Um, and then just playing really hard. And one of the things he talked about was, you know, how do you make your team? We have our showcase coming up here in three weeks. Um, uh, this for our fall showcase, um, we'll have a location and a time frame for a tryout in the spring, uh, both in Idaho and Montana. Um, but also if, um, and that goes for spring and summer. Um, but also if, if let's say you can't make these events, you know, game film is critical. We do that a ton with the guys. Um, if, you know, coaches want to send us an email and, and give us a recommendation, um, you know, we'll be out traveling and watching games throughout the winter, but we definitely don't want to let any great players that want to participate slip through the cracks. I mean, that's what we kind of take a lot of pride in is making sure that if they're good enough and they want to play that, that we can find them and, and, and make it happen. Um, in regards to the showcase, our first showcase is October 12th and 13th in Butte, Montana. Um, and then our second one would be October 26th and 27th in Nampa, Idaho at NNU. Um, you know, we've had a lot of questions in regards to the showcase for athletes that are playing a game on Saturday. I have a volleyball game. I have a soccer game. If you can only come to the Sunday session, there's no worries. Come to that Sunday session. Uh, it's a good opportunity for us to see you and for you to get to know us. Um, so, uh, Clint, I think we're moving forward here in terms of. I just think that in kind of in closing and then we'll take on some questions. I know some that Vince has been setting up so you can get some, some questions coming in is I think that's the biggest thing is that select basketball, for those of you that aren't familiar, has been around for 20 years. And um, with the organization, the experience, the ability to um, get in and know the different college coaches. Um, that, that I think that's what has made us um, so competitive and um, allowed us to continue to grow every year. And so um, we're just excited to be able to, to do it on the girls' end as well. And, and uh, honestly, like we talked about it daily, how much, how much fun this is going to be and we're, we're ready to rock. Um, Vince? One quick thing. Oh, yeah. right. In terms of – researching us more you can find us on our website at www.selectbasketballusa.com has all of our information there from fall workouts to schedules to links to all of our all of our resources so that's that's one way right away that you can look us up um and a second way is you can sign up for the email updates uh, i'm pretty sure if you go to the select homepage, a pop-up message will come up and you can enter that information um, there will be information regarding the women's program as well there. So those are two two possible ways. Obviously, Instagram, Twitter, we're on there all the time. But those are the two resources I would recommend. Awesome. Um, if you're watching live, let's open it up to some questions. Um, if you just send a, a question um, by email, um, can they do all the different social media channels or just social email? media channels work? Or if you have a question on email, we may not get to that now, but we can okay. certainly follow up. The yeah. So. If you have any uh, questions, it, it, go fire away through social media and, and we can answer. Uh, Did you get any on Facebook over there? Uh, so we've got one. So we got a question on, from Instagram. Billy Joe 311 asks uh, about can players from the northwest most portion of Washington play? So I guess who's allowed to play? We just cover that again. What, what exactly is the adjoining state rule? How okay. does that work? You want me to take it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so basically what it means is whatever home state that you that your that your team resides in. Okay, so it goes it's team by team. Um, you can take three players from any touching state. Okay, so you could take from any part of the state of Washington. You could take two players from Washington and one from Oregon if you're based out of Idaho. You could take one from Washington, one from Oregon, one from Montana. You can't have more than three. So if you're in Montana, you could take one from Wyoming. You can take one from Idaho and one from you know, North, North Dakota. Um, but again, that allows for us to, the way we have it set up and the way we travel, um, we've got it down to a science where we can get together. And, but it, again, it allows us for us to combine our, our talent and allow us to compete against, you know, we, we found out, uh, you know, 
10 years ago, five, 10 years ago, that in order for us to compete against teams from Seattle, Los Angeles, Las Vegas that have a population of, you know, five to 15 million people, we have to increase the population that we can also get talent from. And for us, we said, listen, uh, these are the states where the, the kids, they get along great. Um, they play out the same way, they play hard, and it's brought us a lot of success. And so we've had kids from Seattle area, we've had kids from Portland area, we've had kids from all over that have come over and participated with us and it's worked fantastic. Good example would be Coach Blaine's 16 team this summer. They had five Montana, two Idaho, and I think one Wyoming, all yeah. one team together. So they had a lot of success playing together. So, okay. Uh, one question we always get is cost. How much? How much does it cost? How do you figure that out? Um, do you even know? Yeah. Um, so, not to be too vague, but here's how we do the travel and how we do cost. Like we don't have some some programs, and there's a lot of great programs out there. Don't get me wrong, but some of them will do like monthly dues. We don't do that. What we do is essentially for the spring, what, what we will compile all the expenses that we have. Um, we want to make this as close to a college basketball experience as possible. So when we travel, the spring is a little more difficult, and I'll get to summer here in a second, but everybody's coming from their individual uh, location. So let's say there's a, 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 two girls from Missoula, one from Billings, one from Great Falls, et cetera, and then there's a couple coming from, one from Wyoming and one from Boise. And they want to, we're playing in a tournament in, let's say, Portland. They find their way, they have to get there on their own. But when they get there, Coach, the coaches can either pick them up from the airport or they can meet at the hotel or whatever. And um, what we cover is hotels, entry fees, uniforms, transportation to and from. So we get big vans so that we can transport the, the players from gym to gym, game to game, show, uh, shoot, um, shoot around, shoot around meals, whatever. And um, what we do is we just add up the total cost of all that and then – uh, divided amongst the eight players per team. We only take eight players. We feel like that's the best way to maximize um, playing time. Um, it allows for us that even if there is an injury, we can still go with seven. But um, we have found that over the years that eight is that perfect number where everybody gets to play a ton. And um, But again, that's what, how we devise the, the, the expense. The summer is a little bit different. Um, what we do with that is we do what we essentially call our mini camp where we get together um, and we'll and we'll practice for three days at a location. So whether it's a, a college campus where the girls are staying at the dorms uh, and then we practice for three days. And again, for that one, we again, we just take the whole expense for the whole summer. Um, we assume they, the girls essentially just get dropped off at the dorms. We have a ton of supervision and all that. Again, we've been doing this for so long that there's excellent supervision. And then um, they, you know, we travel, we take them from spot to spot. And um, we usually bus it from spot to spot. And it works great. It's part of the experience. Um, just so those of you parents that are curious, we will not have the, the boys, the men and the women at the same location. Um, they will be on different campuses. So, um, you know, it, it's going to be, again, it's a safe environment, uh, but it's worked great. And it's a really great maturity thing. It's a really great way for when we're on the road or when they're in the dorms, they've got to do their own laundry. They've got to, you know, we, st we talk to them a ton about, you know, diet and, hey, so we're going to go to a grocery store to stock up for a few days, you know, what, to, what food to get, you know, how to, you know, plan out their meals, things like that. Laundry. Laundry, yeah. like I said, uh, all of that. Sleeping, you know, making sure they get plenty of rest. Because um, we have a ton of fun and it is a heck of an experience. But bottom line is we're there. It's a, it's a business trip. We're there to... Um, we are there to win basketball games and get you the exposure that you need and help you get better as a player. And one thing for the spring is we don't travel together. So you need to, the player would need to get to that city. We usually pick a lot of kids up from the airport. A lot of them fly on the same airplane together to get to that spot. Um, as well as usually the, the, the kids will cover food, food, food expenses. Yep. So perfect. Yeah. Uh, okay. Who are the coaches? Uh, pretty generic. Who are, who are the coaches in the women's program? That's a great question. And we we are laying that out as we speak. Um, it's difficult to give you exact names right now because just like any program, our goal is to get the best high school coaches, college coaches, a lot of NEIA, um, you know, assistant coaches, um, ex-college players that are out there. 
um, it's still a long ways away. So the issues with that comes with, if you're an NEIA coach, it's hard for me to get you excited about um, a certain coach that might be there. And then all of a sudden they get the assistant job at, you know, wherever. And that's a division one school and they can no longer do it. But um, every one of them will be extremely qualified. They'll all get certified by the NCAA. Um, I know that's kind of a vague answer. And I'd love to just say, hey, this is these are the grades. And we will have that the closer we get. But, um, and I know we're, it's sometimes hard, but it's, it's one of those deals where we, we literally um, know we're going to have an amazing staff. And, but it just it's hard to just say, hey, it's going to be this person, this person, this person, and this person, just because it's, it's kind of a, it can, it can change over time. But they'll, just like with the guys, they're going to be more than qualified. And they're just, I mean, again, we have been so lucky. I would honestly say that we have the best coaching staff in the country uh, when it comes to that, the staff that we compile. Yeah. No, I, I mean, if they're not a college or a high school coach, they're a former player that has a ton of background that's looking to get into coaching too. So uh, great role models as well. Okay, we got a question from Instagram, Caleb T02. How do tryouts work? Go ahead. Well, for the spring, I mean, tryouts are going to be the showcase like we covered. They're going to be – if. We're working on some dates if we can get over to Montana, if we have one in we Boise, we will. which we will. Then those tryouts will be the tryouts. Um, in regards to summer, players that have played in the spring, it's it's basically a tryout, the spring experience. So a lot of times we have, we'll have a lot of kids that played in the spring that don't try out for the summer, but they've already inquired about wanting to play, and generally they play. Um, for the summer, we're going to have a few tryouts, and those are great opportunities for us to get to know you. Now, that's not the only way you can make a team like Clint covered earlier. I mean, if a, if a high school coach or a college coach that we're familiar with recommends a kid that's a good player, then we, we take that into consideration, too, because there's times where you can't make the tryout or the showcase. And, and just to add to that, the, the way we do our tryouts is a great experience. Typically, we have a ton of college coaches, you know, a half dozen college coaches there that are observing, getting involved, evaluating, um, which is fantastic for a player to get hands on, you know, from a college coach. Hey, these are the things you need to work on to make it to the next level, but also to evaluate the, the, those camps and, and tryouts showcases, they're built up of competitive drills, um, you know, five and five games, three on three games. Um, but in, within that, we don't just roll the balls out. We're really going to teach concepts while we're there that we expect during the course of the game um, during the course of the, the the scrimmage or the or the three on three or whatever the competitive drill that you're using, so it's not like whoever gets the rebound is just going to dribble down and barf up a bad shot. It's going to be a situation where we're going to play the game the right way so that every player can get um, the correct exposure. We've had a lot of success because we play a lot of positionless basketball, and what I mean by that is motion concepts where. Um, we're taking advantage of mismatches, but everybody's playing on the perimeter, playing on the inside, um, and taking advantage of those mismatches. So uh, don't think that when you come in that we're going to pigeonhole a player and say, oh, you're, you're a post, you're a five-man, so just go down there and post up. I mean, we're going to allow you to play. And I think that versatility is what helped a lot of our players over the years get recruited and showcase what their real, their real talent is. Yeah, and, and another thing is – at those trouts, we're we're evaluating talent, obviously, but we're also evaluating the right kind of person that we want playing in our program. I think a big thing is we want kids that work hard, that are respectful, that are good good people, good human beings that um, we can really work with. We've we've had kids in the past that are super talented, um, but they're also great kids, and that that's what makes us special. So I think one of the biggest things too is when it's all said and done, and we need to make a phone call to that college and and put our name on the line having done this for such a long period of time, uh, that we've been do doing this for such a long period of time that when we need to make that call, phone call, we're not just making it about um, your, your you know, skill set. Because you can see that with your own two eyes a lot of time, but your work ethic, your personality, your leadership, all of those things. And, and, and I'm telling you right now that those are the things we can sell. So if we know that you've got that work ethic and all that, we got to make sure that we – can, if we know that, we can make the call. And, and we're happy and proud to make the call. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I think that, that kind of explains, that's a long explanation yeah. of how we do our trials. But it's yeah. important for us to pick the right players, okay? Uh, 
let's see, we got one more. Um, but also just want to say um, the, the comments we're getting on Facebook are so supportive. Uh, thank you, everybody, for, for uh, your kind words. They're awesome. Um, the last question, I guess, that we have for now, unless some, some more come in, um, would be, can I plan more than one travel team? How does that work? That's a great question. A um, couple things. One is we, when, when it's time for you guys to play on our team, we want you guys to be there because if you're with us, you trust us and you know that we're putting you in the best position to be successful, the best tournaments to be successful and get exposure. We're all limited by where we live and all these different things, but we're going to put you in the, do the best we can to put you in the right situation. Um, and they're going to be ma major tournaments. And we, we expect that if you're with us, that you're with us during that event now. If there is a local tournament, a regional tournament, or something that is not conflicting what we have, what we currently have going on, um, we have no problem with you playing in that tournament. I mean, we feel like the more basketball to play, the better you can, better player you're going to become, uh, the more competitive that you're going to become. Um, we know that Select, we feel like Select can offer you everything that you need. But again, reps is reps. We want you to get out there and play and play and play. So um, we don't have an issue with you playing. Um, on another team or whatever, we just expect that during the events that we're doing, we will want we're, our expectations are that you're going to be with us and fully committed to us. And just having eight players, we we need to know that you're going to be there for those eight players. It's a team, and we we're not we don't have ten, we don't have eleven. It's eight guys, eight girls playing together, and it's very important as you go through a tournament to have eight. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. Okay, a couple things just. In closing, Vince, um, that I didn't cover is one is, and we've talked about this, this has been something that we've been building up to for probably 10 years. We've been having requests to do this for a long time, and the timing wasn't, just wasn't right. And, and honestly, having Andy with us has been a big deal um, to help us have the manpower to do this and do it right. I mean, that was the biggest thing is we wanted to make sure that we're doing it at the same level that we're doing the boys' team. And, um, I, I, and so anyways, I feel like it, the timing's right. We're so excited to get that part of it going. And, and I love that there's, I hope that there's a lot of passion for our program and what we do. Um, it, it's given us a lot of lasting memories and as a coaches, but having done this for so long, it's amazing that I get to see players that came from areas, you know, from different states that are now in each other's weddings that are, are at you know the birth of their, their first child. I mean, it's lifelong friendships that you could have never um, met before and they have these lasting and amazing experiences and friendships. And so I'm just excited that we get to share that with more people as well as all the basketball stuff. Obviously yeah. the bottom line is we wanna put forth a great basketball program, but for those of players that have been in our program for a really long time, it is so much more about the relationships and the experiences than it is just about the basketball. Yeah, I, I just, to piggyback on that, I mean, I think that the thing about this select that separates itself from a lot of programs is we're a culture, we're together, we're, in, we're a program, um, and it's 14U all the way up to 17U. The kids go and support each other, they sit on each other's benches, we go to the water park together, we travel together, it just makes it for an awesome, awesome experience all around, basketball and off the court. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else, fans? Nope. Then you just, if you want more information, go to selectbasketballusa.com. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you.